Today, guys, I'm going to show you how to get a streaking effect like this. Okay. As you can see here, I had a discoloration effect, as you can see here. Some of it here. Okay. Uh, using a dot filter starting now. Uh, first thing you're going to be needing for this is some oil paints. I've just got some cheap oil paints from the uh, $1 shop and I think they do the trick just fine, okay? You can use Winston and Newton and uh, all those other brands as well, okay? Now you need to ensure that your model is properly sealed, so I've gloss coated mine with Pledge Floor Care, weathered it slightly, then seal it again with Alclat Flat Clear, Flat Coat, okay? So make sure your models are sealed, guys. The colors we're going to be using for this are firstly Lemon Yellow, okay? Yellow Okre, O C H R E, then burnt amber. Okay, this one's burnt amber. And we've got co uh, carbon black. Okay. Next, we've got Pthalo blue, P H T H A L O blue. Okay. And lastly, we've got titanium white. Okay. Yellow, yellow, orange, burnt amber, black, blue, white. So I like to use mineral turpentine as my thinner. Okay. Uh, and for the, f uh, I'm going to be showing a few techniques here. For the first technique, I'm going to lay down a bit of thinner first on the surface. Okay. And uh, for this technique, we're going to use all the colors, okay? Uh, I'm going to speed it up a bit because I don't want you guys to be just bored of me uh, of me putting down dots. And I'm going to zoom it in as well, okay? So you can see a bit better. <clears throat> so it should zoom in now. So for the first technique, I've used about six colors. Um... Some people say you're not supposed to use more than five, but really, guys, there's no right or wrong answer, okay? I just wanted to use a uh, an assortment of different colors to give a, a very varied effect, okay? I'm using more light colors here than, I, uh, than dark colors, but in any case, I'm adding all the colors, okay? Uh, once all the colors are down, you're going to see me uh, use a flat brush dipped in some thinner and then cleaned off with a tissue. Uh, to uh, to dry it up a bit as you saw there. Okay, we're just drying the tip a bit and now you want to go Are you gonna see this done in real time right here? We move the brush in an up and down manner and as the brush moves along it mixes all the colors together and at the same time it also uh, keeps a hold of some of the colors uh, Causing them to mix even further and we keep doing this as you can see uh, we've started off really slow and then we moved faster. We give it a bit of a clean as you just saw there. Uh, and then we just continue on, okay? And we can then control how much of the effect we want left on there. We can leave a complete rainbow on there. As you can see, as you saw earlier, we can clean it up and leave, uh, you know, very little uh, effect uh, as you're going to see later on, okay? But, uh, yep, that's pretty much the technique in a nutshell. And as you can see, we're just going to uh, wipe it down from top to bottom now. And leaving a very nice streaking effect on the model. Let's have a look at it now. Okay, uh, as you can see, um, it's a very nice effect. And we can turn that down or we can increase it by uh, applying another filter on top, okay? Now for the top of the tank, we're going to use a slightly different technique. We're not going to apply a thinner first. And we're only using three colors, yellow, uh, yellow ochre or orange as it looks like and white, okay? Because I want the top to have a slightly lighter uh, look to it, okay? Once we've applied the uh, colors, we're then going to use the same technique, except uh, we're going to put a bit more thinner on the brush. Uh, and then, you know, using the same uh, up and down motion and start cleaning off and mixing the paint. Here I'm uh, just putting on some extra color because I felt... You know, those areas needed some. Uh, and yeah, just going up and down, cleaning off that paint and giving that streaking effect, okay? Now this is in times uh, four speed, guys. 
just because I, you know, I didn't want to slow it down because I've already showed you guys that. However, this is times one speed. What I'm going to show you guys here now is how to discolor a certain panel. So we just blot it in and mix it up. And then we use what's uh, what I call a blotting technique. Yep. You just hit the paint with the brush. And that gives you a discolored look. Okay. We then continue on with our streaking colors. And yeah, pretty much that's pretty much it. And uh, you'll hear from me again once we get to the uh, the turret of the tank again. Okay. Okay guys, for the uh, top of the turret, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to apply more darker colors, okay? And because of its shape, uh, I'm going to be pulling all the stuff downwards <clears throat> because that's what uh, direction most of, you know, the water or the rain or whatever uh, oil or whatever gets on top of it would go down. It would go downwards and cause a streaking effect and in some areas it will cause a bit of discoloration so that's what we're going to do once again i haven't applied any thinner first i've just applied the colors first up and then we're just going to start using the brush to uh yeah streak this one okay we're using the brush in an up and down motion again here trying to drag the paint downwards uh, as you can see here uh using pretty much uh all the colors again uh, and yeah uh, just doing everything that uh, we've learned in some areas I might even blot it as well like on the top on the uh, top of the uh, copula okay so yep this should be the um, the last bit and then uh, you know I'll show you guys the entire model with the uh, streaking done on it all right uh, let's play the music now and uh, watch
We've finished using the dot filters now and you can see the various streaking effects okay the discoloration effects in places okay and just the you know all around mix of different colors from yellows whites uh, a bit of blue here you know uh, to give the model a very uh, complete look okay character as some people like to call it okay um, from here the uh, oil paints are still drying Okay, and uh, it's going to take uh, a while for them to dry, about 18 to 48 hours, depending on temperature, humidity, weather, all that kind of good stuff, all right? Uh, uh, after they're fully dry, you can matte coat the model if you wish, or leave it as, as is, where some parts are a bit glossy, as you can see, and some parts of the model are matte, okay? Um, that's totally up to you, all right, yeah? Um, I hope you uh, liked the video, and uh, please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and uh, yeah give the video a like see you guys later goodbye